Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a Sephora haul and some products from Ulta. Um, as we all know, Sephora has been doing their um, Beauty Insider event and they keep extending it. <laughs> so um, I ordered some more stuff. I have another order coming, but that's won't be here in time for this haul. So and then I have some stuff from Alton. So without further ado, let's get started. So um, we'll start with, we'll start, well, I'm just going to start pulling out of this box because there's, there's, it's all kind of jumbled up. So from Ulta, I got, not Ulta, Sephora, the Herbivore uh, Rose Water Hydration Trio Kit. And I mainly wanted it for this product right here which is the pink cloud moisturizer which um, I forgot it's in there in my bedroom by the nightstand I wanted to give that a try and then it also had in here um, this is what the kit looked like I'm missing that but anyway it had um, a face spray which is the coconut water face mist rose hibiscus so just a face mist, and that's a pretty good size, too, to try. And then it also had in it this, which I haven't used yet, and it is the, um, the Prism Natural Fruit Acid with 5% exfoli Exfoliating Glow Potion. So, and that's a pretty good um, deluxe size sample of that. I wish this may be full size. That may be full size. Um, and I forgot how much this was. It was like around $50, I think, and then you got your discount off of it. So I'm going to be giving that a try. Um, I will tell you that the, um, the moisturizer just isn't quite enough for right now. I think going into spring and summer, it will be fine. But for right now, it's just not enough hydration for this dry skin. And then another kit that I got from Sephora, and this is one that had just came out. I, the last day of the sale, which was on, or not the last day, but on a Sunday, I had went shopping and went in store and had seen um, this kit. It was the Herbivore. I'm sorry, the Herbivore one was a new one because they didn't have it in stock, and I was just kind of looking online at different um, kits while I was in store and testing things and the girl asked her I'm like do you have that herbivore kit and she's like I never even seen that and it was new anyway this one is from it cosmetics and I wanted to try this cream right here and this was in a kit for $68 a hundred dollar value and this right here is a full size which is the secret sauce I've been wanting to try it, and from the reviews that I've read, it's probably going to be a really good um, wintertime hydration because a lot of people think it's a little bit too oily for them. I don't think it will be for me, especially for a nighttime cream. Oh, can't hardly get all these out. But anyway, and there was a uh, Miracle Water, which is their micellar water. Also a cleanser, and that's a pretty good um, size of a cleanser. The Skin Transforming Hydrating Cleansing Serum. So that's going to be definitely good for this winter. I'm going to put that in my bathroom. I have a um, foaming one in there right now that I need to take out because that's just a little bit too drying for this time of year. And then it also had the Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream, which I've been wanting to try, and then the full size of the um, Secret Sauce. And um, it's supposed to be an anti-aging moisturizer. I tried it at the store, you know, just on the back of my hand, and it did feel really, really nice. It looks very creamy. It has a little bit of a scent, but not, not too bad. So that, I think that's, no, that's not it. I think there is one more thing from Sephora that I got. So we might as well just show that. And I did get the deluxe size sample of the um, Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. It's a high volume, um, boom volume extreme. <laughs> 
um, mascara and it's just a deluxe size sample it was like $12 but I just wanted to try it this little thing right here is heavy <laughs> I mean it's really heavy I don't know why they had to make that so heavy but I like the brush and I'm liking it so far um, I think today is the last day which is Monday the uh, the 19th I think today is the last day that they're doing a 20% off sale and I'm really contemplating um, ordering a full size of this because I really do like it that well so I did get that so I think that is it for my Sephora order other than the um, the two samples that I got so we're oh wait no it's not one more thing and that's from pharmacy and this is um, the Mighty's. I actually had this in my last Sephora haul, but I forgot to show it and almost forgot to show it this time. But anyway, it's the Mighty's, and in it has the um, Green Clean, which is a cleaner, a cleanser, the Honey Drop um, Moisturizer, the Sleep Tight night balm and then the honey potion which is a mask so I thought this would be a good way to try all of these little little guys that I hear a lot of people talking about especially this honey balm or the honey potion um, mask so I wanted to give that a try so I have all those little samples there to give a try oh my nose is running man's sake okay so then I went to Ulta and I went to Ulta mainly because um, Ulta gives a birthday gift. And so I wanted to go get my birthday gift. And it was the um, Lancome Celebrate Big. It's your birthday. It's the Monsoor. Is that what it's called? Monsoor Big um, Mascara. It's just a deluxe size sample. So I got that. It was my birthday gift. And then while I was in store... I uh, purchased this little guy and this is what I created my eye look with today and it's from Morphe it's the 9 in about last night eyeshadow palette how much was this $12 and because um, I wanted I used my um, $10 off coupon that you get for your birthday if you're platinum or diamond and so I used that coupon for this and here is what it looks like outside it's kind of dirty because I've been using it but look at those colors in that pretty and it's got this huge mirror on there too and um, the quality of this has been pretty good pretty pretty good I mean I haven't had any problems with um, blending or with it not staying I've worn it several times but I don't know I just thought it was so pretty these colors was just really really pretty but I have la 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 I have this color on today on my eyeshadow and then I have this color right here is what I created the look with um, let me do a little swatch of these three colors here's some colors swatched I mean they're really nice I won't be able to do too many swatches because I've got long sleeves on but yeah so if you see this in store I mean it was definitely worth the $12 but I only paid two dollars because of that coupon but yeah I did like that um, I, I just wish Morphe would would cut ties with all of these um, controversial influencers influencers whatever you want to call them and just 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 be Morphe and just bring us out some good products that's not tied to bad people <laughs> so anyway Okay, so what else did I get? Where's that little box? Oh. Then I made a online order to um, Ulta and got a couple of things. One was this Kate Somerville um, Goat Milk Deep Puffing Eye Balm. Um, I can't sh actually show it to you because it's in my bathroom right there forgot I forgot to bring it too I'm trying to get this filmed before I go to work so I can get it edited and get it up this week and then I went off and forgot everything but I will tell you um, I was thinking it would be like a really heavy duty um, lip or not lip but eye cream but it's actually a bomb I'm gonna get it hang on okay 
this is what it looks like. Anyway, I thought it was going to be like a squeeze tube or something like that, that it was going to be some kind of like a heavy duty cream, but it's not. It's a little, it's like a chapstick type thing where you roll it up and then you're supposed to roll it under your eyes. Um, I've only used it once, so I can't really see, say anything about it other than I don't think I really like that delivery system, but I've only used it once now. I may end up really, really, really liking it after I use it some more. And then I ordered from Jack Black this Ultimate Lip Therapy Duo. And this is going to be a um, gift, a Christmas gift for one of the boys, um, either my son-in-law or my son. Not for sure which one yet, but I did get that. And then um, I got some freebies from Ulta that I'm going to show you. One of the freebies was this little guy here from Jack Black, and it's the Face Buff Energizing Scrub Deluxe Size Sample, so that's gonna be good. What I plan on doing is doing like a little gift bag of some different things for the guys, and some of this stuff is gonna go in there. Uh, my samples was the Black Opium from YSL, and it looks like the It Confidence in an Eye Cream. Just a little one-time use card on that. And then another gift that came with this order was this one here from Pop Sugar Beauty. And it's a tinted lip balm. So this is going to go to one of the girls. They're all getting some kind of a lip product. <laughs> I decided that that's what that looks like, so I'm not going to swatch that because it's going to be a gift. And then um, this was a free gift, and this is from Clinique. And in it was the Clinique Moisture Surge Face Spray, so that's going to be good for winter. And also the Moisture Surge Hydrating Supercharged Concentrate. A little deluxe size sample of that. And because I'm diamond, I was able to get this kit for free. And this is from Tarte. And it's the Double Duty Beauty um, Fierce in a Flash. And it has a eyeliner, a mascara, some lashes. I'm not for sure what the other thing is there, but this is going to my daughter for Christmas. That's going to be a gift for her. And then they were doing another little um, package where you could pick a different gift. So this is the one I picked. Um, and then it has the Moose 99 Beard and Hair Balm. Again, that's going to go into a gift pack. Um, the Piercy nobleman beard oil all the beard stuff is going to my son um, the million cologne by paco raban 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 i don't know let me say that and the redken bruise three in one shampoo conditioner and body wash The Billy Jealousy Beard Control Smooth and Style. That's going to my son. There was a full size of the Bedhead for Men um, Lion Tamer, which is a beard and hair balm. Yeah, that's the reason why I picked that one, because I knew it had a lot of beard stuff in it. And what is this? John Verato's Artisan Blue. What is that? It feels heavy. Is that a cologne? Oh yeah, it is. Look, that's a pretty good size for just being a little freebie. So that's what I got from Ulta. And then I placed an order on Jueva's Place because they were doing 35% um, off. And I wanted to get a few more things from them. Get rid of this box. I ordered a blush from them. This was the other blush that I didn't have. And this is the Bella. And this one, I don't know. It's the Artique Blush by Ju Juevas. And it's in um, 
Bella, I think is the color of it. Afrique. Anyway, this is really, really dark. I don't know. This is going to be, I've swatched it. This is going to be one of those blushes that I'm definitely going to have to use a dual fiber brush with. Because, I mean, that, I was trying to be, like, very, very light with that swatch. And you can see how intense that is. It's <laughs> pretty, it's pretty, pretty dark. And then, um... Well, am I missing something? I got the magical, the Magic Mini palette, eyeshadow palette. And this is what it looks like. Look at all those beautiful colors. Oh, my stars. This color right here was definitely calling my name. And these pinks right here. This color I tried to wear, oh my gosh, this one was hard to wear. It was. I did not. I was trying to hurry that day, and I didn't do a very good job creating my eye look with it. And um, it stained my eyes, my eyelids. My eyelids were kind of a pink color for a couple of days. It was kind of hard to get off. So I'm thinking I will probably just use that for a blush. <laughs> use that color right there for a blush instead of an eyeshadow. But anyway. And then they came out with the Warrior 2 palette. That is an all matte palette that I wanted to get. And now this one wasn't included in the discount, but it was $20. I mean, their prices, I don't think there's any palette that's over $25. But look at those colors. Oh, it's so pretty. This color right there is just so... Mm. I've worn this quite a bit of times in the last few weeks that I've had it. Um, gosh, that's that color right there. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but I mean, if you've not tried anything from Jueva's Place, their pigmentation is like extreme. I mean, you just barely have to put your brush in here to get any kind of pigmentation. They're really easy to wear and blend out. They're just so pretty. And then I got the highlighting kit. This is the Royalty Loose Highlighter. I had another one, but I don't know what I did with it. I'll have to show it at a different time. But this is what it looks like. And you get the, um, the Royalty 2 and the Royal Royalty 1 highlighting palette. Loose highlighters. And they're dark. <laughs> they, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. They are dark. Let's see, I haven't even opened them. I just kind of looked at them. But let's open one. Let's see here. I wish they were, I wish they weren't loose. I wish they were in a pressed format. Can you see that color? I'm going to try and get just a little bit here. I mean, look at that. <laughs> I mean, there's no way I'm going to be able to wear that on my cheeks, but I can definitely wear that on my eyes. I mean, because that is pretty intense. <laughs> That's, it's pretty, don't get me wrong. It's, it's very pretty, but I'm not going to be able to wear that as a highlighter on my face. And this one, I think, is even darker <laughs> than that one. Um, so let's open this. I just wish they would come out with some that were lighter for very, very pale skin. But I don't know if they will. I really think that they are more geared toward people of um, that have darker skin tone than what I do. There's the next one right there, which is pretty similar to that other one, but still won't be able to wear that on my face, but can definitely wear it as a pop of color 
pop of glow on my eyes. So anyway, that is it for the haul. That was quite a bit. <laughs> Definitely quite a bit of stuff. And like I said, there'll be another Sephora haul coming up. And then of course, Black Friday, you know, everybody's already started their Black Friday sales. Oh my stars, overwhelming. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.